so for this video I wanted to do an acne coverage foundation routine like what I usually do on a day-to-day -day basis just to cover up my acne marks as you can see like I have a lot of marks like I don't know if you guys can see it up close but like up close like it's really a lot of dark marks and this side is just this is something else I'm just gonna show you guys how I cover these marks up and how I just basically deal with my skin and yeah because sometimes when I do foundation on its own without really like doing the extra steps to cover the marks and like especially since my marks are very dark they seep right through the foundation like unless it's like a really full full coverage foundation that way I don't have to do any like color correcting <clears throat> Ooh. that way I don't have to do like any color correcting or anything extra excuse me then yeah other than that it will seep right through and like you could see it it looks crazy but yes that's that's my face and you guys like a lot of people have acne prone skin like but for me I have acne prone skin I have oily skin like just everything at once and once it decides to hit me like especially during that time of the month it goes completely crazy like my face literally goes crazy I could drink all the water I want like literally lately all I've been doing is drinking water once that time of the month week comes it's like what water like what is water like what is water my face just go back to completely going nuts and like I literally be trying to work on it <laughs> but honestly during that time of the month I just leave it to do whatever the hell it wants to do and then I start working on it like five days later pretty much but yeah if you want to see how I cover up my marks and how I deal with all of this going on here keep watching okay guys I know I look a little crazy right now so I have nothing on my face except moisturizer um, I just used this moisturizer I got from Sephora I forgot which I forgot the name okay so like I told you guys before I have very oily skin so before I do anything well first I moisturize but after I moisturize I'm just gonna use the milk of magnesia um, I use a little bit of milk of magnesia because honestly it is way too drying and we all know it's not for the face but it does work to help your face stay matte all day so yeah I do use it but I only use it around my t-zone areas areas and I only put a little bit only Okay, so milk of magnesia does dry white so in a few seconds if you guys see my face my t-zone area turning white don't worry it's just the milk of magnesia after this I go in with my smashbox primer I just take this and then I just pat it on like I use padding motions around right here and it just seeps into my skin and afterwards it's just gonna um, like blur out all the pores around that area because that's where I have the most pores and now I'm gonna color correct and like I said in the intro I only color correct when I'm not using like a really really full coverage foundation because the um yeah if I color correct and I put a full coverage foundation it, it's just it's not worth it really that's just a waste of makeup but yeah when I when it's not really a full coverage foundation I just try to avoid it like today I'm using the match the match master um, from Mac the foundation and that's full coverage to some people but to me it's not full coverage because my marks are very dark so I have to color correct or it's gonna seep through so I'm gonna color correct with the LA girl pro concealer um, I have other palettes like my BH cosmetics wheel color correcting wheel I, I use the orange in that one too it usually depends on what I feel like using usually to color correct but it doesn't matter anything orange would most likely will cancel out anything dark yeah. sometimes I put it around where my glasses lay because over time my glasses have left 
marks around my nose and it's just like the worst thing ever it's just dark as hell over there but yeah after this I just blend it all out with my beauty blender sometimes I use my hands but when I don't feel like getting them dirty like today I'm gonna I use my beauty blender and I just use dab emotions because dab emotions is gonna put the product on top of the marks if you just swipe it you're gonna um, take the product off the marks which is not which is like completely not the point of this so you have to dab it on you just have to dab just dab okay Tell me what you want, I want it too But if you wanna go, I understand why I could never be the number one guy If you are gonna do this step Well, if you are gonna use makeup in general Always make sure the beauty blender is wet Like, it used to be a time when I did not do this Like, I I remember texting my best friend She was, I was like I remember texting my best friend telling her Yo, did you know if you wet a beauty blender It, it works ten times better? And I was just like She was like, what? <laughs> like, what? Where? <laughs> Do you not do that on a regular? I did not know, like, that's why my makeup used to look so freaking cakey under my eyes when I used to blend out my concealer. But seriously, if you wet your beauty blender, like, it will be magic. You, just magic. That's like the first thing I feel like every person, every beginner should do all times. Like, the first thing you should always know is just to wet your beauty blender. Your makeup will always come out flawless. Like, just make sure you wet the beauty blender. Okay. After color correcting my face, sometimes I use the um, my Laura Mercier. I cannot talk today. All right, Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, whatever, um, translucent powder, and I just sometimes I pat it on top where my um, where I get oily the most. That's like the powder before foundation method, and it really does work. But because I use um, Milk of Magnesia under. I don't feel like putting the powder on top to mattify because then it's just gonna mattify me too much and I don't really like that look. I have oily skin but I don't really like the crazy matte look either. Like I rather look glowy but it can look like a nice glowy matte type of look. I don't know you have to be like an oily person to like really understand what I'm trying to say but yeah if you're an oily person you know what I'm trying to say. Like. You can't just be too matte. You have to be a little bit of both so it doesn't look so flat, you know? But anyway, yeah. Now I'm just going to use the Matchmaster foundation from MAC. And yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just put it on. I don't feel like talking through that whole part. So we're just going to put it on and fast forward that whole part. Okay. Then I take my MAC Fix Plus setting spray. Well, it's not just a setting spray, but you can use it before your makeup too. But I like to use it after I put my foundation on my face like this. And then I just... Yeah, spray all over. And it literally helps to blend in the makeup. Like, that's just... It just works ten times better like that. So run the amount. Baby, I say run the amount. Let me know how you really feel. Now I'm just gonna highlight my face with the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. You guys know the drill, just the upside down triangle under your eyes. Just to brighten up under your eyes. Sorry, that's an airplane. But yeah, just to brighten up under your eyes. And if you want your eyes to like pop more, I guess, use a lighter concealer. But don't go too above like your skin tone shade because it's just gonna be, it's gonna look crazy. So. Yeah, just keep it around the range of your undertones and stuff. Honestly, I don't know why I ever highlight my nose because, I don't know, maybe because it's like the whole, i rather do the whole thing, but like I don't contour my nose. Like, it's not no specific, like, reason. Like, 
like not no not there's no lesson in there that's what i'm trying to say like oh you shouldn't contour your nose you're black you're this you're that it's not that's not the, even the point i just i never contour my nose like since i started doing makeup i just i i don't know it's just something i rather eh. yeah so after so after this step you know you're just gonna blend it all out Oh, and like I said this in my other video before, but since this is like a video of like putting all my like tips and tricks and whatnot into one, so I usually highlight my face like this because um, I have baggy under eyes and like they will crease like crazy. So I do put my concealer just a little bit under my eye, like. <laughs> Yeah, like this. Like I don't put it directly under my eye because I'm not trying to have a lot of buildup. So that way, when my eyes does crease, it's gonna, it's not gonna be so much product stuck between the creases, and then it's just gonna make the whole thing look horrible. So yeah, I just usually keep it down there, and then I, when I'm blending, I blend up, like just like I blend up. That's it. So yeah, I'm probably gonna skip over the whole blending part and then I'm gonna do the contour. You guys know how to blend, like, I mean, just dab. Just dab the makeup in until you feel like it looks like your skin again. Like, it can be a little bit lighter because that's just concealer, you're trying to highlight your face. But like, make sure this, like, the skin actually looks like skin. Like the con Like, the concealer is not just sitting on top like it's blended inside your skin like that's usually what you should always look for so yeah so yes i'm gonna go blend this out and then we're gonna contour the face so yeah don't be shocked if that whole thing is gone because i feel like this video is gonna be so long and i'm still talking like all right bye Okay, so now that I finished blending out the concealer, do you see that it all looks like skin and everything's blended together? Now I'm gonna go in with my Sherry Street Contour Palette. I think I got this for like $12 or something. Yeah, I'm gonna have it linked all in the description box. And I'm just gonna use the dark shade to just contour my face and like bring more melanin to my skin. That's usually a way to like, if your face is getting out of control, light after you put the concealer and everything, you could just use contour to just even everything back out. Okay, so after that, then I'm just gonna blend all that in. You guys know the drill like before just make sure everything is blended and it looks like skin and when I blend because I know I'm gonna skip this part in the video just to not make it too long so I'm just go over this real quick so to um when I contour I usually blend this up a little bit and then my chin contour <clears throat> I blend it down so that way shadow will go down this way slimming down your face and your chin and everything and the shadow, if you blend the contour up, it will blend, um, it will create new cheeks, basically. It's going to give you high cheekbones and everything. And of course, the forehead, you have a big forehead, you could slim it down. If you have a small forehead, you could still contour, but you just won't do as much, like, shaded area or whatever. Okay, so now that I blended all that out, I'm just going to set my face with my Laura Mercier powder. You know if you're oily, like you have to set your face or like all that makeup is gonna go dripping down somewhere. Like it's gonna go somewhere. You're not even gonna know where it's gonna go, but it's gonna go somewhere. I'm telling you. So I use my Ruby Kisses mineral powder. This is an ebony. I'm just gonna take my contour powder and just set my contour. 
To represent the guy with the money who live fast But still baby don't die young Say tonight you can call my phone Tonight you can call my Yeah, now I'm just gonna use my big powder brush And my MAC mineralized skin finish And just <clears throat> Wipe off all that um Translucent powder we had on earlier And just blend everything together Okay, so now we're just gonna set our face with the max fix plus it's just gonna tone down all the powder that we just put and just basically help everything sit down then you just give it a few seconds to just dry okay so my camera is gonna die real soon like this is sitting at like 13 percent or something so i'm just gonna try and like do this real quick now so the next step is, um, I think I want to finish my eyes. So I'm just going to do my eyes. Yeah, I'm just going to do my eyes. Finish off my eyes. My girl, she got a gun in her hand. And she keeps one in her mind. Baby girl, I know what I did. You ain't got to run the amount. So run the amount. Baby, I say run the amount. Let me know how you really feel. So you amount. know I got a special spot to help you remember me And every time you leave this spot, you know I get to see oh, She's bright like an electric bulb, so everybody gets to see yeah. And every time you leave this spot, you know I get to see yeah. But tonight you can call my phone, tonight you can call me all night long Tonight I represent the guy with the money who live fast, but still baby don't die young Say tonight you can't